The next section is BGP Operation. Select the section you are interested in viewing now. Let's look at what it takes to get Internet traffic from one network to another. To get Internet traffic from Network 1 to Network 16, the following must occur. AS16 must originate and announce N16 to AS8. AS8 must accept N16 from AS16. AS8 must announce N16 to AS1 or AS2 or both. AS2 can accept N16 from AS8 and announce N16. AS1 must accept N16 from AS8 or AS2 or both. Now N1 has a route to N16. For two-way traffic flow, AS1 must originate and announce N1 to its peers, and the process must repeat in reverse. How BGP selects the best route BGP routers select the best path for a given prefix. The BGP router implements the path decision in its interfaces and populates its routing table. This process is IP forwarding. IP forwarding decisions are made based on the destination address that includes the number of hops to reach this address, the class of service in place to this destination, including fair queuing and precedence, and its local requirements such as packet filtering and policies. Since BGP is a path vector protocol, it is capable of handling large routing tables. Currently, the full routing table has over 318,000 routes. Most BGP routers do not need to load the entire routing table. BGP advertises a route once. After the route is advertised, BGP only updates neighbors about changes. The BGP Routing Information Base, or RIB The software version of the routing map is the Routing Information Base, or RIB. It provides three views of routes. The adjacent rib in, of which there is one per peer, stores prefixes learned from a particular neighbor. The local rib, of which there is one per router, stores the selected prefixes and sends the preferred routes to the forwarding information base. And the adjacent rib out, of which there is one per peer, stores prefixes advertised to a particular peer. The BGP Forwarding Information Base, or FIB, is the active routing table that is stored in hardware. The FIB stores the best routes as selected by the Routing Information Base and processes the route lookup. This is where routing happens. The FIB lookup rate, as you would expect, impacts the IP forwarding rate of the router. This IP lookup in the FIB requires lots of memory. Routers might use SRAM or TCAM memory modules, which are low density, fast, and quite expensive. Or they might use DRAM memory modules, which are more dense and less costly, but also not as fast as the other types of memory. BGP Messaging BGP works by establishing sessions between neighbor routers or peers. These sessions are established and maintained by sending messages on TCP port 179. There are four types of messages. Open. This message is sent after the TCP handshake. It advertises and negotiates the BGP session values such as hold timers and BGP version. Update. This is the most important message of all. It is used to advertise feasible routes to appear. This is sent for route withdrawals and adding a new route and its attributes. It includes the important attribute list of transverse autonomous systems and reachable networks. Notification. This message is sent when an error occurs during a BGP session and when the session is to be closed. The BGP session is closed immediately upon sending the notification message. Keep Alive. This message is sent as an alternative to update messages to maintain the BGP session and to satisfy the initially negotiated hold time requirement. The Keep Alive message indicates that the connection between two peers is still active. The maximum time for a Keep Alive message is one-third of the hold interval. In order to connect to a peer, 
BGP uses a simple, finite state machine that consists of six states of a BGP session. These six states are idle, connect, active, open sent, open confirm, and established. This illustration shows the six session states a BGP peer passes through as it makes decisions in its operations with other BGP peers. In the idle state, no attempt is made in setting up a TCP connection between neighbors. The BGP neighbor refuses all incoming BGP connections. In the connect state, one BGP router attempts to establish a TCP connection with another BGP router. BGP is waiting for the TCP session to be completed. The active state occurs when the TCP connection initiated by one BGP router fails. BGP makes periodic retries to establish a connection. In the open sense state, the TCP connection has been successful, and one of the BGP routers is trying to identify itself to the other BGP router. BGP parameter negotiation occurs in this state, and depending on message received, the BGP state transitions to the idle, active, or open confirm state. In the open confirm state, BGP waits for a keep alive message and then changes its state to established, or if it receives a notification message, it changes its state to idle. Finally, in the established state, routes are exchanged and the BGP session is fully established. Keep alive messages are sent until a notification message transitions the session to the idle state. You'll get to see these states when you practice configuring BGP later in this module.